<laughs> hey guys, how you doing? He's giving me a look already and it's only been 12 seconds into the video. I wasn't giving you a look. You were. Yeah, he needs to calm his chickens already. <laughs> How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Right, so let's get down to the uh, weigh-in. Weigh um, we've done the weigh-in. Um, I'll start with me first. Yep. So I have lost in total over seven days, I've lost 100 grams. Don't ask. I have no idea why. I've um, traveled upwards of 65 kilometers on the bike this week. Um, I haven't been eating. No, you've been sticking lots, away from sticking away from uh, the, a lot of stuff. stuff that we like, uh, there's been a little bit of, you know, I, I guess naughty stuff every now and then. But it's been, you know, when I'm talking about that, it was yesterday's ride. I've had a couple of dim sims, and that was my entire lunch was two dim sims. Mm. Um, so we're sort of wondering whether there's muscle conversion because I am doing a lot of exercise and a lot. There's a lot, lot of, you know, I can feel myself getting stronger, especially in the legs. So maybe the muscle conversion is, is uh, I've heard that muscle is heavier than fat. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I do know that I feel, I feel smaller this week than I did last week. Um, uh, there's, there's certain things that it's just like the feeling of the ribs and there's, there's, there's certain feelings that I, I know. I know I've gotten smaller, so... He needs to go clothes shopping, I, his pants can't stay up. My pants aren't staying up. Um, <laughs> but I, so I've, I've sort of made a decision for this round, this week, I'm not actually going to worry about it. I'm going to continue doing what I'm normally doing. I'm going to continue working out. I'm not going to worry about it if I make much muscle up, and it'll, it'll come in due course, because uh, I'm simply not eating a lot of food. It's, it's just not possible. Um, I'm barely getting out down enough liquids. Um, and on frequent days, I'll burn somewhere. The, the app will tell me I've burnt 400 calories. I've eaten 800 calories. So, so I've only really consumed 400 calories for the day. So you take your pick. I don't know. Um, so we'll see how we go. We'll just continue on and, and, and see what happens. I plan on doing more epic rides on um, every weekend that has a sunny weekend. Um, Check and, out the video and, from yesterday. Yeah. It was amazing. It was a huge, oh, just I'll link, so it, good. I'll link it down below for um, you guys. I, I enjoyed it so much and the only reason I wouldn't do it again today is because my body just won't let me. I, I, um, I actually have the, the urge, to, I, I just enjoyed it so much. Um, and I have the urge to actually get out there and do more and be bigger rides and, and especially those rail trails, they're just gorgeous. Um, but yeah, got to gotta do what your body allows you to do. So anyway, moving on here, <laughs> there's a little bit of other news going on. So as you know, I couldn't weigh myself last Sunday because I was in hospital. Um, everything's all going great uh, now that I'm home. Uh, but so my weigh in after two weeks, I lost six and a half kilos in two weeks. Now it did help that I basically starved for five days in hospital because they couldn't do that, I wasn't eating. Um, so yeah, six and a half kilos in, uh, in two Huge. weeks. Uh, which brings me up to 36 kilo loss completely. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty damn happy. What's your actual weight now? Uh, 116.8 so kilos. So close to getting under the 100 mark. That's your that's a goal, yeah. under the 100 mark. Yeah. And it's it's just amazing how close that is. I did, I did, I couldn't help myself. And I, with the day I came out of hospital, I'm like, because I hadn't weighed myself on the Sunday. And I, I, I like routine and I thought it was a bit weird. And so I weighed, I weighed myself, even though I said I wasn't going to. And I nearly broke down in tears. Because of course I'd done five days in hospital and I, felt crap and uh then i weighed myself and i gained but i didn't just gain 100 grams i gained like gained like two and a half kilos but they'd stuck me through with so much fluid to uh, hydrate me again that i was just full <laughs> fluid so um my sister tried to say just calm your farm and you know it'll give it a few days <laughs> and it will go away so yeah, and uh, thank you for the advice. That's all right. When, when you did the next weigh in and you lost so much, uh, the scales actually said on her phone, yeah. Are you sure you're the same person? Is this the same person? Can you verify? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. So that was really good. And um, and nothing's nothing's been stuck yeah. for the last um, 
so that's been a big deal. So uh, like like in other videos I've said to you, I was getting you know stuck things stuck once every two or three days. Um, but with uh, the hospital, they thought I had an obstruction um, from either a gallstone or something, um, which was became infected. Um, but I know that uh, the moment I left hospital, I haven't had one thing stuck since. Um, I've been very careful with what I'm eating, as I always try to be. But uh, yeah, things aren't getting stuck. So yes, it's only been five days, but I don't have that same dread when I eat. I was starting to dread when I ate, and now it's becoming a bit more enjoyable, which is which is amazing. So now yeah. I'm not sure if Michelle had mentioned this in the previous videos. I actually can't remember, um, but it is something to be aware of for those of you who are having the bypass instead of the gastric sleeve. Um, it, it does. We've been informed now, which we didn't know beforehand, that with the bypass, um, gallbladder issues are. Uh, a, a common side effect of, of it so it's something for you to watch out for um, it sort of hit us really we, we didn't it did. see it coming we didn't know what was happening um, and it wasn't until the dehydration got to a point mm -hmm. where um, we just had to say enough is enough um, and, and, and take you into emergency um, but it is something to be aware of I, mm -hmm. I didn't see that on any other video um, talking about that being a possibility yeah. so talk about it with your surgeon if you're having having the bypass because um, uh, sometimes they actually take the gallbladder out at the same time as they do the bypass, just as a, a, a saving having to do it later. So, so it's worth is, talking to your surgeon about. This is just us, but I, I wonder now if that was also part of us getting things stuck all the time um, because I had the blockage um, from the gallbladder. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's certainly become a lot easier now. So hopefully, it will continue. I'm hoping next Sunday I'll have another video and go, yay, I'm 13 days, no, nothing getting stuck. So that's what, that's what I'm going for. We'll see how we go. All right, I think that's about it. So yeah, um, yeah I've stalled a little bit, but we don't know why. We're going to wait and see. And Michelle is just going gangbusters and we'll see what happens with her next and week And I'm back as well. to riding tomorrow. Back I'm so to excited. Tomorrow. So, um, yeah. thanks very much. That's it. See you next week. All right, guys. See ya.